Hello Pisces. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. <clears throat> and I'll be looking into the hmm, feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. <laughs> Sexual obsession, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So, let's just see here. There's one that flipped. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah, these cards just caught me off guard. Um, where was I? So yes, the deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Please don't mind my voice. Um, I'm not feeling so great. It's been a while. It's just taking forever to get over this darn flu. And if I cough or make funny sounds that we all do when we're sick, please don't mind. What's going on here? I have another card that's flipped over. So the way that I do my readings, for some of you who are new here, um, I only channel into my higher intuitive self to get answers. I always have, actually. I've never really uh, used any spirit guides. There you are. And only at the end of this reading, I do channel um, Archangels Michael, Raphael Gabriel, to provide you with some advice uh, regarding your situation here. <clears throat> oh, this is a bittersweet connection, guys. It's a very, it's a different kind of connection here. And do um, stay tuned for a very different kind of bonus reading. I hope that some of you enjoy it, or all of you. I hope all of you enjoy it. Um, it's at the end of this reading. It's slightly different than what I usually do. You have some cards here that are, they're nice. This is what the other person feels. Um, however, some of you might also be feeling this as well. There may be an effect on you from what has happened in this connection um, on their side. We have here cycles followed by sexuality. Embracing the shadow. Victim. Beliefs, love, sensuality, beauty, and selfhood under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently, Pisces. My dear Pisces, I can't get over what I've done to you. It goes around and round in a cycle in my mind. I feel as though I'm starting to obsess over what has happened. But in addition to that, I'm also obsessing over what has happened between us. What I have done to you, what you never really deserved. I'm obsessing over you sexually. You are so alluring, so tantalizing. It's, it might sound sick, but even when you walk by me, it's as if you're teasing me, even though you're not trying. But this is how much I crave you. I am very, very attracted to you. You are just so, so perfect, so attractive, so beautiful, so gorgeous. I think about you, I fantasize about you, and I'm obsessing over you. I'm addicted to you sexually. 
But what has happened between us, what, what I put you in, the situation that I put you in, I know it is very, very awkward. Things are very awkward now. There's a feeling of this environment of being very uncomfortable. I know that what has happened between us has created this environment now. And I also know that you saw a side of me that was very impulsive, compulsive, and aggressive. And I have made you feel like the victim. In my own way, I have just tried to be myself and get what I want. The problem is I wasn't really thinking about what it's like from your perspective. And now I realize that I've turned you into the victim. I victimized you. I took you for granted. I overindulged. I took advantage. There has been psychological, sexual, and emotional manipulation in this connection. And for me, you might not believe me, but it's, for me, it's like just natural. I just do it, but I don't mean to manipulate. It just comes out that way. It's just the things that I say, the things that I do. And if someone's heart melts, then it melts. It's not your fault. It's not right what happened. My beliefs, as well as yours, are quite different. No, we're not on the same page. We were born and brought up in very different ways. And the thing is that so many things have changed. So much has changed. We don't see eye to eye. And I know that in this connection, I never really saw this relationship deep down for what it really was. I only looked at the surface, the materialistic part. But now, when there is distance, I'm starting to see things differently. I don't even know how it's possible, but I have this crazy unconditional love for you now. This high level of respect, not only for your body, but for everything that you are. All the things that you do. I know now why people love you so much. Why you are loved. This love that I have for you now is very true. It's unconditional, it's sacred, it's pure. It's not lustful at all. There's nothing about it that's lustful. And yes, I want to tame myself a little bit and not be so crazy about you sexually, but I still can't get over the fact that you are so sensual. You can seduce without even trying. This is how much you melt me. Like hot butter. Butter on hot toast. As it melts, soaking into you, I just feel this constantly when I think about you. It's just so difficult for me to separate myself. Passionately, I can't. Because I find you to be so beautiful. So handsome. Not only on the outside, but on the inside as well as a human being. All together, the whole package. Your personality, your charm, your talents, your charisma, your character. And there's certain things that you have done. The time that we've spent together, even energetically, you have been this person who has taught me and showed me who I am, a reflection of who I am, the good, bad, and the ugly. Overall, I see you now as somebody who has moved on, and that scares me. 
because once upon a time I uncovered who you were, this mystery that wrapped around you, I was able to uncover that. And I discovered who you were. And I played the part. And in this connection, it seems as if I used you. But the truth is, I was just getting what I wanted. And was that using you? Probably yes. But it's part of what I do. It's who I am. Yes, maybe I need to change this. Maybe I need to change my beliefs. And I am willing to change my beliefs because I do love you. I see you now as somebody who is single and ready to mingle. Somebody who is self-reliant, self-sufficient. But I also see you as somebody who is very, very guarded. Very defensive. Snippy. You get irritated by me when you think of me. I know that. The problem is... I do want to start something and talk to you, but what has happened is you are somebody for me now who is brand new, and I don't know how to reopen this box, how to rekindle or restart this fire that's been put out. There's no spark left. There's no flame. There's nothing that I can work with, and so that scares me. Right now, my mindset is just in a state of obsession, constant thinking about you, about what I've done, about where this connection is. I just know that this is what I've done and I don't really know what I can do to fix it because I do feel intimidated by you now. All right, Pisces. A lot going on here. Some of you, and I'm very sorry, it happens. It happens to all of us, to the best of us. We fall in love and we give as much as we can. Physically, even monetary-wise, some of you might have loaned money to this person. You love them so much. It happens. It happens. Can I tell you, is it, is it right on a materialistic level? No. Is it right on a karmic level? Yes. What do I mean? If you're giving them money, karmically it's good, okay? It's good for you. Good points for you and on the karmic scale. However, be careful who you trust. I know it's difficult. You don't know who you trust. It's Everybody seems great, but then boom, they completely are somebody different, right? It changes. Um... Be careful who you trust. Be careful who you invest in. Please make sure that this person takes action. Actions do speak louder than words. There's sayings out there in the entire planet. And there's a reason why those sayings exist. People before us have gone through shit too. Relationships re never have changed. Throughout history, relationships have been the same. That's honestly the one thing that hasn't really changed is the feelings and emotions that people have. That has not changed. That's just people. You've done what you wanted to do, and unfortunately, this person took advantage of you. Do they have love for you right now, though? They do. For some of you, you might feel like it's too late. For others of you, you might just need to heal first and then maybe think, you know what, maybe I can give this person a chance. If Pisces, they want to come back into your life. If they have the courage to come back into your life. And if they truly, truly regret what they have done. I don't see the regret card here. So I don't recommend that you jump into anything yet. You have to have regret. Not you, the other person. Whoever has hurt you, or if you have hurt them, you have to have regret. Um, and these cards could be vice versa, or they could be for both of you. <clears throat> the
there has to be regret. After regret comes like healing. And then there comes like wisdom. And then finally there's strength. So there's a process I've seen that people go through um, with these cards, especially like the feelings and emotions that they get um, one stage after the other. So it is important for somebody to actually regret because then they can finally heal. Because then they know what they've done is wrong. And then they won't repeat it. All right. <clears throat> oh. Let's have a look. This is the Lover's Path Tarot. So with this deck, I'd like to have a look at the reason why. So I look at the why, the reason why. Um, why things kind of like went downhill. What, what caused the problem in the first place? One of the biggest things that might have caused the problem. And some of you might be aware of this problem and some of you might not. And some of you might not just have one issue or two issues. You may have had many. All right, four of coins and the prince of cups. Let's have a look. All right. So somebody actually told me it's called miserly. I think that's how you pronounce it. M-I-S-E-R-L-Y. <laughs> um, being miserly with wealth. Um, I called it miserly, but they said, no, it's miserly with wealth. And this is from somebody uh, in the comments below. So please just let me know if I'm mispronouncing this again. Um, being miserly with wealth, talents. Conversely, being an overly generous spendthrift. The need to conserve and protect resources. This person started to feel when things started to change. There was a lack of stability in material forces in one's life. That might have been depending on family inheritance or maybe somebody else's talent, somebody else's money, somebody else's land and somebody else's riches. They had a lack of wealth and security. Wow, person, oh my God, Pisces. Um, yeah, so this person definitely, you remember how I was saying the loan thing, somebody asked for a loan or somebody's asked for money or you might be paying for them and they may be staying in your home, okay? There's a money problem here. And if it's not a money problem, there's a mental health problem where this person does not see their potential. I'm seeing the word depression and stress and anxiety. I'm seeing those words right now. So whatever it is, whatever the cause is, and let me tell you, no man, especially an alpha male or masculine energy, and I'm literally talking about a man in normal everyday society, no man wants to be put down or be a couch potato and be somebody that's just at home and have a beer and have a life of shit. Why don't they want that? Inherently, they want to be the provider. But there's something, I'm sorry to say, emotionally, spiritually, or mentally wrong with that person. There's something that is out of balance. Now, I don't mean to say the word wrong. I mean to say the word out of balance. So whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they have had some type of history for you, you might have been able to handle that kind of stuff. But remember this, every single person, man and woman, are different, right? Everybody has a different threshold, different tipping point. Sometimes we can take a lot of nonsense from people and sometimes we can't tolerate anything, right? Whoever this individual is, I'm getting that it's a masculine energy. It could be a woman as well that has a lot of masculine energy. Two women that live together, one is more um, masculine than the other. This could also be a female, but whatever it is, the reason why they're having problems financially or some type of problem settling down financially or materialistically, it's not because they don't really want to. It's because there's something from their past that's bothering them that they have not healed from, that they have not learned from. 
just keep that in mind because I see that here. It's not good because it will not help them in any relationship. That's the problem. It's like a repetitive cycle. If they do this with you, if it doesn't work out, they're going to be with somebody else and the same thing will repeat. Unless they heal, unless they learned a lesson. Here we also have the Prince of Cups. Everybody wants to be a go-getter. Everybody wants to be successful. The only people that don't feel that are the ones that are hurt inside. There's either stress, there's depression, there's trauma, there's always something. But the nature of a person, human society, has always been resilient. They always want to do something. They're always up to something. They're always achieving something, right? However, if somebody's not feeling good, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and it might not even be your fault, okay? It's not even your fault. It might just be the past relationship. It could be their, their childhood. It could be anything that's caused a problem in their life. Um, the key word here is healing. This person needs to heal. We also have here Prince of Cups. Now, this person felt... This is a young, it says a young man. Now this could also be a young masculine energy, could be a woman as well, that symbolizes or used to symbolize the force of love, beauty, and emotional richness. However, boom, things just changed. They had this impression that they were like this, but then you realize that there's a lack of beauty, a lack of love, and a lack of emotional richness. What you were searching for is not what this person had. They did not have the ability to inspire you anymore. At some point in time, things just went downhill. Um, the need to be more receptive to beauty, this is what they needed to do. They were not receptive to beauty. Like I said earlier with the victimization card, they took your beauty for granted, they took your love for granted, they took the peace and harmony in this connection for granted, and they overindulged in fantasies and maybe even played out those fantasies with you. But they overindulged. Overindulgence is bad. Because then... You just, you're just beating something to death, basically. That's what happens. It's like too much of anything is bad. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. Too much of anything is bad. Everything is good and certain balance. This is a very targeted um, reading, Pisces. Not everybody is going to resonate with this one. These cards, too, it's very particular. Um, these are cards that I'm pulling out. And you have one extra one. This is to show any type of plans, any actions, any intentions that this person might have. Could be either or. Um, sorry, either or. I should speak more clearly. Mm-hmm. Remember I was asking you or telling you that this person needs to feel regret? Yes, they're feeling regret and they're feeling regret. Good. They are evolving. That's good. The only reason they're evolving is because they actually give a damn. Remember you had the love card, right? Well, if somebody loves you, they will bend over backwards. They will shake heaven and earth just to be with you. That's how strong love is. In the past... In our history, in human history, right? We've had kingdoms that have been built for the love of a woman. And they have broken down for the love of a woman. Why do I say women? Because back then, it was the males that used to kind of conquer and, and do all those alpha things. Right? But the point is, that's how strong love is. 
that really is. Nowadays, it's just like not as expressive, but the nature of it, that's how intense it still is in a human's heart. Love can make and break things, even kingdoms, empires. We have here two of pentacles. This person is juggling. It could be another person as well, in addition to you. Could be. It could be a third party too, actually. You have a three of swords right there. For a small portion of you, it could be. Well, we have here the Two of Pentacles. And this talks about how this person is trying to juggle. They're trying to create a better balance in their life right now. They, they are overwhelmed. They've bitten off more than they can chew and even digest. And that is a problem. Because they're not really able to focus and their energy is scattered, they're not able to focus on you. And this is an issue. This might be an ongoing issue, actually, for some of you. Now, juggling sometimes also means, in my other, um, in my other interpretations of my other cards, um, juggling like a career, a uh, job, um, juggling other people, like, like somebody who's sick. Maybe they have to go home from work early or every day or something like that to take care of a loved one who's sick, God forbid. Um, but the thing is that this is taking somebody's time out and it's a lack of balance in their life. They're just not able to balance things. And because it's so overwhelming, they truly can't give you the amount of time, energy, and effort that you deserve. And usually, the smart thing that people do, to us it seems arrogant, but the smart thing that the other person does is they just ignore us. Why? Because if they can't give you 100%, they're not going to just give you 7% of themselves. That's just crappy. You don't want that. You want 100%. If not, then just 90 at least. Let's just go with 90. But still, they're not able to do that. So their energy is scattered because they're kind of like doing things all over the place. And so they're not able to give you the time, energy, or effort that you deserve. For this reason, they do feel heartbroken. They feel heartbroken. They feel that everything that they have wanted and desired, <clears throat> they have grief, they have regret, they have remorse, their sadness and melancholy. Sharp pain in the heart. Actual physical pain. And there's physical pain due to separation. The two of you are far apart from each other. You can be living under the same roof. However, your emotions and feelings are just like worlds apart. Six of Cups are thinking about the good old days. The first time your eyes met. The first time you touched. The first kiss. The first embrace. The first time you guys opened up or someone cried. Those are sweet, innocent, beautiful memories that this person carries. And they're thinking about this now. They're treasuring this because it no longer exists. Whatever memories you guys built together, this person is thinking about it over and over again. Remember the Cycles card and the, pa and the first card that you had here? The Cycles card. It's like an obsession card for me. That's what I call it. So this person's really thinking over and over again about, about what happened in the past, how great you guys were in the past, how great things were, and what potential you had, and how crappy this person turned this situation into. That's why they're sad. In the meantime, what are they doing? They do feel a, a spiritual connection with you also, a past life connection. And they feel that, they feel sad for what they have done, for what they turned this beautiful garden into. They never took care of that garden. Love. You look at a rose. I'm seeing a rose in my mind's eye right now. Just one single rose planted in the earth. You talk to that rose. You talk to it. You love it, you touch it, and you talk. That's the way you're supposed to do it. One day I'll, I'll talk more about that, communicating with vegetables and all the things that are alive on planet Earth. Um, but you hold the rose, you talk to it, you love it, you give it water, you give it attention. As a result, <clears throat> um, 
sorry, there's a glitch that just happened. I had to pause. Um, as a result, because of this, what happens? The rose begins to bloom. It begins to grow. Uh, because you've given it that much time, energy, attention, and love, right? What happens when you don't? There's no fertilizer. There's no water. There's no love. It starts to wither away. It dies. This person feels that whatever garden of love you had back then that had just started, if they would have tended to it more, right? If they would have given it more attention and love, it would have truly bloomed. However, now because of the Three of Swords, they have regret over the fact that they didn't do that and they realize this. They know they can't do anything further right now, Pisces. And what they're feeling is with the hanged man, <coughs> sorry, with the hanged man, um, they have this, this mindset. And remember I was telling you they're feeling a little intimidated because like you've moved on. To them it seems like that. You might not have, and I hope you have, but um, whatever situation you're in, this person feels that you've moved on. And so you're kind of like, it's, it's intimidating. And, and they're not, you've kind of like moved on in their mind, okay? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But from their point of view, you have. And so they're literally just kind of hanging around, looking, waiting, thinking, you know, what am I supposed to do? What's the reaction going to be? Um, is my Pisces going to reach out to me? Hmm. No, Pisces is not going to reach out. No, you're going to make this person reach out to you after they have healed, grown up, and for some of you, gotten a job narcotics some of them may be into drugs and it's important to stay away from that to heal from that drugs also are a gateway for negative energies to come into your body in many different forms they come and that's how negative energies manipulate the mind and your actions and your inactions um, <clears throat> so Say no to drugs. Um, here we have six of pentacles. This person has made a decision for sure. They really do want eventually one day to maybe just take you out for breakfast, lunch, dinner, something where they get the opportunity of being with you and to talk to you about the things that have happened. However, right now, are they even in the mood for doing any of this? No. Four of cups. Under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme that umbrellas all of this. It's like an umbrella over all of this. And they're thinking that, and they realize that they have actually, they regret the opportunity that the universe had given them. They regret that they didn't take that opportunity. They took advantage of it. They did everything wrong. And now they're just simply sulking and they're just regretting um, the things that have occurred, um, that they've done. And... They count all the times that they've screwed you over, the bad things that they did that really pissed you off. And even if the universe is giving them something good, the opportunity of reaching out to you, they're not looking at it. Are they ignoring it? No. They're not looking at it, Pisces, because they're not in the right state of mind right now. Will they always be like this? No. People change. Situations change. Nothing lasts forever, right? Good or bad, unfortunately. Good should last forever, but it doesn't. Um, good times, I mean. Um, however, this person is going through a phase, and they will get out of this phase. And because they truly are feeling so much pain and loss and regret, you know, eventually they will be somebody who is very different. They will evolve. They will change. Um, I know some of you might be waiting. You know, when is that going to happen? It might take some time because practically thinking if some of you really are having uh, some type of financial problem or just maybe a spending problem, right? Like some, sometimes people have money. They can be millionaires or even billionaires, yet they can become broke because they're not good with money. They just kind of spend, spend, spend. Um, so there's something here. Definitely that this person has an issue with settling themselves down on a materialistic level. And so they want to fix that too. So doing that will take time, guys. All right, let's have a look. 
Let's have a look at what the angels have to say about this. First card's the strongest. <clears throat> we have compromise. Oh, this is two. Um, these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel. So yes, Pisces. Um, for the majority of you, if not all of you, this is a past life spiritual connection. You can learn more about that if you go to my other channel, Asnoitia Audio. And that is the reason why I created that channel, because many of you go through certain things and have experienced certain things through you. And so I've decided to um, make videos based on all of that, right? Um, have a look at my other channel. There's a video there called, and because you had a lot of sexual energy in this connection, um, there's one video called Past Life and Spiritual Connections. The other is called Sensually Intense Spiritual Connections. That will kind of make sense to you after you um, go over that. Um, I have some examples in there from my other clients, things that people have gone through. It's a very difficult connection. It's a very, um, it's a hard connection to let go of. And both of you might actually be obsessing over each other now that I see that card. Okay. Interesting. So, it's actually a pretty straightforward message from Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel. Here we have, they are telling you that it's important if you want this connection to continue in a positive way. And if you want it to be long-lasting. Forgiveness, understanding, compassion are always there. You need to have that first, okay? However, whatever has happened between the both of you, the first card here is the strongest compromise. You have to come to a compromise. So this means that with the beliefs card that you had, you have to change your perspective a little bit. So do they. You have to accommodate them, they accommodate you, and then you meet in the middle. Whatever they're going through, they're doing it because they believe it so badly. Like, oh my God, it's ingrained in their DNA. It's hard for them to think any other way. However, if there can be a compromise in this connection, then things will actually work out. Then there can be a romantic connection, but there's a matter of adjustment. Just don't adjust so much where you actually lose your identity. Here we also have be assertive. This hasn't come out in a long time. Um, some of you may have bent over backwards to accommodate this person. It's time for you to put your foot down. And there's that saying, right? The carrot or the stick. Unfortunately, you're going to have to use the stick this time around. Not, not physically. It's just metaphorical. But you have to let them know what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with, what your boundaries are. And being assertive also means don't let this person walk all over you. You may have lost your self-esteem during this time. And every time this person pulls away, it really, really hurts you. And you don't know that you're feeling even more down than you already were. Um, so don't let this person get to you. Self-esteem is huge. Whether this person is in your life or not, you need to have your self-esteem. Whether this person leaves, you still need to have your self-esteem. Whatever this person does should not affect your self-esteem. That is just something that is you. There's you, there's your shell around you. That is you. You are self-esteem. You have to be that. This is something that happens to a lot of people that I've seen, a lot of my clients, where if a person doesn't talk to them or or they feel neglected or rejected. It's very natural for their self-esteem to come down. It's normal. That happens. I understand. However, do not make yourself defined. Don't have that person validate whether you are this or that. Because you need to command yourself. You need to know who you are. And you have that self-worth. And if you have self-worth and confidence then you will not allow this person to walk all over you. And this person will not walk all over you because you have boundaries. 
People respect boundaries. They don't mess with you when you have boundaries. Here we also have, if you believe, then the situation will happen for you. They are telling you to listen to your intuition. There is going to be a time when you will be able to take action. However, they want you to listen to your intuition, take some time. Um, we also have here trust in God. This here in this card is the Christ consciousness. So through Christ, you can get to the source, who we call the Almighty God, the source, uh, the creator of the universe. Um, trust in goodness of the universe, which is the one uh, who we call God. Um, here we also have the overall arching theme, choose a new direction. Choosing a new direction. And let me just go back. Why did I say that about the universe? Because there's many things in the universe, good and bad. And so you have to be very, you have to target what you want, not just the pure white light. A pure white light can be negative too, just to let you know. I've seen it. I've, I do things and I have experienced things and I help people uh, when it comes to negative energies. Um, so pure white light, you have to basically mention pure white light, pure holy light of God. You have to be very, very specific when you are manifesting and when you are talking and what words come out of your mouth and to the universe, even your thoughts. Here we also have choose a new direction. Now, what does this mean? This is the overall arching theme for this entire reading. Um, choose a new direction. Choose a different method of approach. Whatever approach you've had seems to not be working. So do something different. If you've been giving to this person a lot, then stop giving. If you've been giving them attention a lot, stop giving attention. It's a different approach. So if you have a different approach to the situation, your result will be different. Because it appears here, because this card came up, you have not been choosing a new direction. You have not been changing your, your method of approach in this connection. So what you need to do is here, as the card indicates, the destination is the same, but just your route and your, your mode of transportation, um, your method of getting there is different. That's what that means. So think about what you've been doing that's kind of repetitive and the patterns in this connection because eventually you'll be able to break that pattern. And that happens here by choosing a new direction, choosing a new method of approach in order to get a better and different result. And that's your reading, Pisces. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity, some guidance in your situations. Um, let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> All right, something different. This bonus that I was talking about. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, a while ago, I just, I've kind of paused on those particular readings. A while ago, I used to do a reading, it's called like spiritual journey kind of reading. And I would tap into, because I have the ability to do so, and I realized this after a long time, I have the ability of tapping into, because they talk to me, the angels in heaven. Uh, heaven is a different dimension, and so sometimes they would talk to me, and I would not understand who's who. And I've mentioned this in other readings right now, too, the ones I've uploaded. Um, so what they started doing is they started to categorize my head in different places. So on one side, I can actually hear the voice of God. In another area, I hear Yeshu, who is Jesus. I hear Archangel Michael, Raphael, Gabriel. In the back, I hear a bunch of others. The thing is that they all categorize themselves in different parts of my head, so I actually now know who's who. <laughs> uh, it's the weirdest, weirdest thing, but you know what? It makes sense. It makes sense to me. I can locate exactly who's saying what and where they're located. The reason I needed that is because, for example, like Archangel Raphael and Gabriel have very similar, for me at least, they have very similar voices. So I couldn't tell the difference who's who. But um, nowadays, they also show me their name in my mind's eye who's talking. So this reading is supposed to be for you specifically. It's not for the other person. Self-love should be your theme this coming year. Okay? This is Valentine's Day. Yes, we love others, but also, who are you? Love your mind, body, spirit, and soul. There's so much of you. So these... <clears throat> messages are from the angels 
in heaven, maybe even God. For one of the re one of the readings, actually, um, the source came out. I was pretty freaky, um, but they only come out because they know that it's a very very important message that you need to hear. Because I've asked them. Oh my my, good God! Oh, you guys, you're going through so much here. And I know you're going to get some good messages here. Now, this kind of stuff t kind of takes me a bit of time. I know it's going to be lengthy. Um, and I know this reading has gone above the time that I do, but that's just what I wanted to add here because I want you guys to focus on yourself and not just the other person all the time. Um, <clears throat> channeling sometimes takes me a few moments, a few seconds, so let's just get to it. Fear is the first card. Archangel Michael, male's voice. I want you to feel bold and brave. I want you to let go of your insecurities and the lack of courage that you've been feeling in recent times. I want you to stand up for what you believe in and not have anxiety or frustration over the situation. I want you to be courageous. And I want you to believe in yourself. For, for you are who you are because of what you are. I salute you for all of the pain and suffering that you have gone through. But this is only a life lesson. For the outcome of this will make for the outcome of this will only make you stronger and wiser. Do not fear, my friend, you have a long way to go. All right, Pisces, that was pretty, that was a pretty direct message. Um, the next card we have here is creativity. <laughs> Immediately I just saw the name, Uriel. It's strange. Um, <clears throat> It's a very strange situation. Sometimes I, and this is me talking, that's no idea. Um, in some of my other readings, I heard Uriel as a female. Right now I'm hearing Uriel as a male. I have no idea what's going on there. <clears throat> I'm getting the message that it can change from a masculine to a feminine because of the type of angel it is. When it wants to be masculine, it can it have more masculine energy to to have that confidence to be that alpha. Um, I just myself, I'm just curious to know why I was hearing female versus male. Right now, I'm hearing male, a very deep voice, male actually. Um, the message is: I want you to know that you are creative. Be an inspiration to others. But you can only be an inspiration to others if you yourself are inspired by life. Life is a creation, life is an illusion. But you have to make it your reality. And when your fate and destiny is written for you, know that everything will be okay because you made it okay. Everything that you do, everything that you say, has an effect on you, your life, your destiny. A 
I want you to know that you're not alone. There are many people that are affected by your creativity. I need you and I want you to think outside the box regarding your life. Who you are really and what you want to be. Because once you establish that, you will be able to not only reach, but you'll be able to touch the stars. You will be able to be yourself a star. That was very, um, that was a very strong message. I felt that. All right, um, we have here illusion. This is Raphael and Gabriel. Um, we want you to not be so shy. For the things that you say and do, your actions and the actions that you do not take have an equal result in your life. Do not feel shy or embarrassed for what has happened. It is a lifelong lesson that will stay with you. We need you to be bold and brave to come out of this depression. Let go of the sadness, anxiety and worry. Don't hide yourself from the world. Embrace your beauty. Know who you are. Truly who you are inside. We know that you can do more when you are out in the world. Don't hide certain parts of yourself. Be open and honest. And be willing to give to those who need advice. For you are now a wiser person. And are able to give advice to those who need it. Raphael is saying, eat healthy. <laughs> he just had to get that little bit in in the end there. Eat healthy. Um, okay, I'm literally getting this. He's saying no processed meats. For some of you in certain countries, um, just try to have things that are more natural, uh, less preservatives, less processed. Okay. Um, here we also have beauty under the bottom of the deck, the last card. All right. Hmm. Archangel Haniel, I do hear a female's voice, a very soft, gentle voice. My dear beloved one, embrace your beauty and your sensuality. For it is for you and not given to everyone. You need to understand that you have talents that are hidden. And ambitions that have not yet been realized. We need you to be strong. and embrace all of the parts that you've been given. And not be shy or be stubborn in your beliefs, but to open up to other realities and possibilities.
I open my heart to you so that you can see the light of life and embrace it for all that it is and for the happiness that it can give. You can mold your fate and destiny into what it is that you want. Those are my two cents. <laughs> all right, Pisces. And that's all, folks. <laughs> so that was... That was pretty intense. Um, some of you, I don't even know. Sometimes, like, when, when the angels talk, they, to me, sometimes they make sense. And then I know they're kind of all over the place. However, what I feel is just like any person that would talk to you, you know, they're not just talking about one topic, but there's branches of other things that are affecting you. So definitely take notes on this I would recommend that because this is a reading that I don't even do right now for people but I just don't have time to do it um but I wanted to put this here because it's something that really has helped a lot of people I mean th these are messages directly from heaven I didn't even know I could do this stuff but I am doing it and I do hear I do hear these voices and they do communicate with me um and they all are different it's like a whole different cast inside my mind um so yeah, some of you are feeling fear. They're telling you to be creative. They're telling you not to be so shy or embarrassed. They're also telling you to embrace who you really are, right? Um, I guess basically comes down to that, but I'm not going to be um, advising or tainting any of this, okay? Whatever they said goes. That's what they're saying. Follow that. If some of you want to follow that, I would recommend that you do. Um, and yeah, that's, that's your reading. I hope Pisces... I was able to provide you with some clarity, some guidance in your situation. Um, I know this reading is extremely long. However, I wanted to add in this piece here because this time you'll be able to focus on yourself. Um, like I said, make some notes, write some affirmations for yourself, who you're going to be, what you want to do. Post it where you're living, wherever you're living on your wall, just put it there. Make a little poster, make a vision board with these type of things on it. One day I'll talk about vision boards and stuff like that and manifestation, um, maybe on my other channel. But it is important, I feel, that these messages were key messages for you um, in your life right now. Hopefully the majority of you have resonated with this. If not, um, then just take it as it resonates. Maybe bits and pieces of it may. All right. You all take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys again. Bye now.